we are going now to check auscultation. Okay, so right after the vitals, you have auscultation. Okay, so click on auscultation. So these are the four spots where clinicians put their stethoscope. The four spots, each corresponds to a valve, each corresponds to a valve and um, uh, the four chambers of the heart, okay, where blood goes in and out. Either they come in from the body, go to the lung and ca capture oxygen, and then they go, back, they go back into the heart and then pump to the body so that uh, all your organs uh, could be functioning properly. So I'm going to check the pulmonary uh, valve, which sits right on the left side of the sternum. We want to make sure that we leave the skin in a state where it's at, the, at its most conductive state. What do I mean by that? Well, we want to rid the skin of lotion, oil, powder, or anything that may otherwise affect the conductivity of the skin. So first what we do is, first we perform hygiene. We'll wipe off the device from previous uh, patients' uh, skin, uh, the things that may have been on there, and then we will make sure we wipe the area off. Okay. So now we're officially ready to do auscultation and or ECG. So either you can go on un underneath, or in this case, we're going to go on top. Okay, so I go view signal. You are going to see the lub dub on top, and then the ECG should be at the bottom. And I'm going to record. So it records for 15 seconds. It sends a 15 second strip to the server, then it comes back green, yellow, red in terms of the heart sound as to whether or not there may be indication for murmur or the ECG as to whether or not there may be indication for arrhythmia. So in this case, the heart sound came back normal, okay, and then so it also measures all the intervals on the ECG and then it also comes back with the rhythm analysis as normal sinus rhythm. The, the person administering the test uh, has the same option that he or she had previously where they can add notes. This patient seems fine, period. No further actions necessary, period. And then I hit save. Okay, so now I go view PDF. Okay, so the PDF gives you the heart sound, the PDF gives you the ECG, which then can be email or text to someone on the care team. All right. There's also the same type of functionality that's available here is also available on the physician's portal where at the same time someone could be looking at, remotely by the way, someone could be looking at the same information so that if you have a specialist on the other side that could be then making that diagnostic decision. So now in addition to, so if the person doing the examination or if the uh, the physician looking at this and say, hey, let me, let's check the ECG by itself, right? You can do that too. So you can check, you can do three lead ECG, you can do lead one or lead two or lead three, right? So lead two, which we're going to do. So I pick the, the actual lead and then I go view signal, right? So you see the ECG right on the, uh, right on the device, so I'm going to record it. 
It records for 15 seconds. Okay, then it comes back with, so it goes on the server, it comes back with results. So again, similar to the auscultation. Uh, in this case, it gives you all the intervals, gives you the rhythm analysis, which is normal. You can either add notes or you can do a PDF. View the PDF, right? Now, we are going to check for lung function. 